Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 20th to the 26th of December 2021. So this week we're coming out of the full moon in Gemini and that is when the sun is opposite in Sagittarius and the moon is in Gemini and this one was a very loud and upbeat and quite vocal energy. Gemini can be the inner child so some people had inner child issues coming up for resolution or at least reflection because that's what the full moon is but largely chatty sociable quite bright quite quixotic easy to change a little bit mental quite hard to sleep a whole bunch of energies in there all together this weekend but bringing that right down to earth we begin the week with venus turning retrograde at 26 degrees capricorn so the big end degrees of Capricorn, 23 to 26, have really been the highlight of the last couple of years. Lots of activity there with Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter and now Venus taking part. We really are ending an old system and moving into a new one with Aquarius. And we're having to find what's deep and authentic and true within ourselves and in society while we let go of anything that's restricting, done out of habit or obligation, and too limiting for us to take forwards. So Venus is conjunct Pluto at the moment, and they'll meet again at the weekend, and then again at the beginning of March. So we have a very long haul that we spoke about last week, Venus being your heart and your values, and Pluto being alchemically transforming from base to crown. So obviously here we'll be looking at transforming our values at the time of the winter solstice and the Christmas festivities. So one of the themes this week seems to be that we can often be held in old patterns, especially if we go back to family gatherings or into old environments where the people in that group haven't seen the growth that's gone on and therefore will try and react to you and be comfortable with you acting in an old behaviour pattern or within an old portrait. So I think this Christmas is going to be quite challenging as people return to a group dynamic, a family dynamic, changed, quite significantly changed, but then that becomes awkward or difficult for those around them to know or to allow or to let express itself. So we're going to have to really hold our energy body with sovereignty and authenticity in order to not be pulled back into those old patterns in those old environments if that makes sense. So it's very much about holding your energy, not reacting, observing and there is a quite a strong collective field around at the moment of people wanting to hang on to the smaller, hang on to the miserable, a fear of people growing or thinking differently or having new ideas. That's been a bit of a theme so far in 2021. So with Venus retrograde in Capricorn, going back and knowing your own authentic centre, especially seeing how far you've come, not playing that old role to begin with, but knowing who you are now, and then holding an energy field around you so that others won't pull you back into an old system. It has been quite a difficult year, and I think everyone's been on such an internal journey that it would also be an excellent idea to just allow others to show you who they are now rather than expecting them to be who they were when you last met up or who they've always been in your portrait of them. So approached with that perspective, a childlike curiosity, compassionate detachment, then meetings this week and over the next couple of weeks could be really fun and adventurous and uplifting and inspiring if we can let go of old patterns in ourselves and with others. The feeling Monday, Tuesday, the sun moves into Capricorn on Tuesday, but the feeling for Monday and going into Tuesday is about being the solution really. If you have a look around you and see how many people are complaining, and this is especially noticeable in people complaining about the government or certain situations that are going on at the moment. But it's not very useful to collectively get round and moan together. They say misery loves company. And I've noticed that behaviour quite a bit this year. There's a unity. If everyone's complaining about the same thing, we're all, again, belonging to a little miserable club. But the age of Aquarius 
would not only say keep your focus on the positive be the solution know what the solution is know what you would do and what you are doing in your own world to be a force for positive change and at the weekend we also have saturn square uranus again so we'll get to that in a bit but it's very much uh, a very mixed bag of a week a little bit of heavy energy as we need to break from the old and into the new but more so because it's coming at a time of such uh, mixed sociability where many won't have the option to just hibernate and keep themselves to themselves but behind the scenes there's some really incredible and positive changes happening if you look at the news cycle it's all talking about one or two things but that's like the magician that's distracting you with a shiny object in his right hand aren't you curious to see what else is going on in the background so see if you can find some of the positive aspects that are going on and give those a bit of attention there's another positive aspect of this as well which is we're able to trust our intuition more so it's not that somebody says something or something that's said at us but we're much more tuned in now to be able to know whether that's truthful or what place that's coming from whether it's with good or mal intent so that's a great practice at the moment to have a look at information delivered from different angles but even over electronic devices we can feel the essence and the motivation behind certain things that are being said a lot more quickly now and the more quiet you are the more observant you are the more tuned in you are then the more guided you'll be as you won't be just believing everything on face value or because the packaging looks good so Tuesday the sun moves into Capricorn this is always a beautiful time of year with the winter solstice so for three days the sun rises and sets at the same arc in the sky before it visibly starts to expand heralding the light half of the year and Capricorn is the sun's journey up the mountain to the summer solstice so we have the three days of the solstice with the feast but pretty much after the 24th it's a time for a little bit of abstinence and inner reflection going in and finding the light within and firing up but the modern calendar has that as the start of the festivities so as with all years see if you can find that stillness and that peace within capricorn is about tradition roots structure but this year i think there'll be some changing of tradition as we have saturn square uranus this is the third square that's gone from late february to mid-june to now from 9 to 11 to 13 degrees aquarius and taurus so we're going from the saturn structure to the uranus independence freedom liberation justice and this is the last of these squares it's been an absolute theme of 2021 slightly awkwardly coming in during the christmas festivities but maybe do things differently like i say view people differently present yourself differently and that should help go with those energies rather than trying to hang on to the old and wonder why it's not working we're heading into some very aquarian ground now where it's literally going to be your frequency what you feel pulled towards or pushed away from what you're pulling towards you or repelling from you that's going to dominate so we've got to know who we are respect everybody else for who they are but allow things to flow according to feeling rather than this is how we've always done it and this Christmas is really going to bring that to the fore if you can relate to people differently more on a soul level actually find out who they are as if you'd not met them before find out who the new them is as everyone's been on a very deep journey and we'll be in the solar month of Capricorn which likes to be deep and integral and authentic so in essence with Venus turning retrograde and meeting again with Pluto that's the heart the depth the alchemy the raising of vibration knowing your true worth sun moving into capricorn the winter solstice to stop and pause and celebrate the rebirth of the light and light your inner fires and then the feast of christmas but this one's not really like any ones that have gone before renew friendships family ties and appreciating things as they actually are i think those are going to be the keynotes for this week so if you'd like to see where this is happening for you i am available all over the holiday period you can contact me zoehind7 at gmail.com if you'd like to arrange a session or to learn your chart or to do some of my courses i'm available for vouchers if you'd like to give a chart reading or a course to one of your loved ones these sessions really do last a very long time 
and provide deep value. And I'm happy to arrange a call to discuss whatever it is that would most suit you. If you haven't already, please check out my Transcending the Negative Mind series, 12 half an hour videos on how to practically get out of your head and into your heart. And I post these videos on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro. That's where all my videos are. And I post these videos on Facebook at AstroZo and Instagram at ZoeHind7. So wishing you a wonderful rebirth week. Celebrate with freedom and independence and vision. It's a solar new year. So we're starting afresh and breaking from Saturn to Uranus. We're becoming soul sovereign beings in the process. So those are the horoscopes this week and I'll see you next week.